thing should not be squealing like that. But Ace does not put ego. <laughs> That bend that sounded like it for a minute. Nah, talking to me. So, for all of you who are thinking, oh, that is the shark that that guy made. Okay, so, now look at the back. Every, because I got a guy that just, you know, messaged me the other night, or you know, the other day, saying, I have an exact replica of the shark. I built a, an exact replica. Okay, listen. Listen. Dingleberries. No, oh, that's cool. Everybody's cool. Hey, man, it's all cool. It's all cool, G. I've got 100. I was just watching a video when I was talking about how I had 60 guitars, like, in 2011. I have 118. I was supposed to get rid of guitars, but then I started on this. I got rid of six. I traded six guitars to get my car, car's engine rebuilt. It's a great story because the guy, I said, here's the guitars, here's some of them, and one of them was a Zach Wild uh, Chinese knockoff that I bought off a guy for 50 bucks. But he saw Gibson. I go, well, what do you want? And he's like, I would like that guitar. You take, give me that guitar and that guitar and that guitar and we call it even. I'm like, really? I'm like, but that's a Gibson, you know, playing it up. That's a Gibson. He goes, I know, but that's a, you know, I rebuilt your whole engine. What did and he did. Brand new engine in the car. So, I let him take it, saying, you know, that's worth thousands of dollars, blah, blah, blah. He goes, I just want to put it on my wall. A lot of people do that. It's just wall ornament, which a lot of people are doing with these. If they keep... The turnbuckles on, it will sound like crap no matter what you do, no matter what pickups you put in it, no matter how you play it or whatever. You're going to get a thin, tinny sounding guitar. He thought he was going to bridge. For some reason, when he put it back together, I bet you he wired that up wrong. Like, this was accidentally wired up out of phase, so it sounded like a strat. It wasn't, you know, it was, you know, not doing its job and humbucking. It was actually just one coil. So, I'll bet you Eddie did something. Because he's always, you know, drinking. He was drinking always and tinkering. So, when he made this, he's like, oh, wow, it doesn't sound right. So, he puts these turnbuckles in, which I know where he got them. He got it at Glendale Fence Company, the people that I put... They put a fence in my parents' backyard. They paid him to do this, like, you know, a long time ago. Just as a gift. But I found out that's where he got the turnbuckles. Because it's very hard to get this one. This one's easy. You can get them pretty much anywhere. But this one, smaller one, is very hard. So I got one for my other guitar. My other, this, this shark, that's made from a destroyer. And here's the other thing. Just because you get an Ibanez Destroyer, 1975-ish, they all played different. They were all made different. Not all of them were made out of Karina wood. Some of them were made out of some weird swamp ash type of stuff. Because I had a couple. My friend had a couple. I had two or three friends that had a few of these. 
They because everybody bought them when Eddie came out with that article that that's what he made this from and that's the the great sound was that guitar and there was hundreds of them and you can pick them up for like fifty bucks seventy five bucks so everybody scooped them up. I had three of them. I sold two. One? I sold one or two. I made one into this, one of these. It sounded like crap. It sits in a case, and I don't know where it is. So don't ask me to bring it up. I'll show you a picture. It's on Facebook, but that's all you'll see. And it just looks like Eddie's, exactly. Gibraltar Bridge, everything. See, with this, I said keep everything. Keep New bridge, new bridge, new tail. I want all this Epiphone. I want it new. This is a brass nut, though. You know, not for that. Even this is like his. You know, three gold, three chrome. This guy, the guy that does this, knows exactly what to do. I put this on because I want mine to be different. All both pickups work. See. <laughs> DP100, DP100. Just cream and black. Same pickups. Now, Eddie's, he doesn't know what the hell he put here. But if you look at that picture, the last one that he took, that someone took, of this guitar before he destroyed it and made it into that thing where he can't play it anymore, the pickup had poles like this. The same as this, which was a Super 70, which is the same as the DiMarzio Super Distortion. It's all the same. And the Super Distortion output is about 8.5. The Super 70 is about 7.4 to 8.5, 6. So when he rewound it, he rewound it about the same. It's just that he did the paraffin wax thing so it wouldn't feed back. That's, that's his big thing. Dipping the pickup in wax to control the feedback. Now this is has been dipped. And look, if it wasn't, it'd be screaming right now. <laughs> Right in front of the amp, Marshall and a PV is aiming right at me. So this is for all these people that are like, do they can turn? This is made exactly, and these are the exact type ones that he put on the back. These are huge, they're ridiculous, but he made it exact. This thing, and I put this on. When he gave it to me, this was off. This was connected, but he had the pot inside, so it was, you know, you couldn't see it, just like Eddie's. He does exact replicas. He's doing a, from the first Eddie Van Halen guitar, the white one, white and black stripe, to the one he played, the, you know, the jacked up, the artificially uh, relic cream uh, Wolfgang that he played uh, the last tour. So from that, the first guitar to that, he's going to make for a guy, and he's going to hang him on his wall, and he's doing it for a ridiculously low price. If I told you how much it, this cost me, you guys, you're idiots if you don't get this. Because the first time I had it made with the Destroyer, like 20 years ago, it cost me like two or $3,000. And it sounds like crap. It looks exactly like his but it sounds like crap and there's nothing I'm gonna I'm not gonna touch it it's got the pickups it's okay there's the original this one looks exactly the same but it sounds and plays incredible it's an Epiphone 58 Karina Wood Explorer got it so if you get that and I have put this and you can do it yourself if you 
have a destroyer or if you can get a destroyer and this put it right on top of it it is the closest you will get the only difference you'll see is this the neck goes down you know is more like this on the destroyer where this is not as much that's it so this whole thing with people building this and doing this and you do an exact you don't want to do if you're doing it just to hang it on the wall and say this is what I've got exactly like Eddie's Eddie doesn't even have it anymore it's gone so I'm coming from the standpoint of I already have one in a case that I don't play anymore so I have another one that I because this is a cool looking guitar why not friggin make it playable and sound killer and believe me this sounds just as good as any EVH or any other friggin guitar out there this thing is killer sounding it's just I can't play for crap so you know sorry but dude this sounds good so you know why people aren't you know begging me for this guy's go to on the eBay Marcus one mark kiss one that's the guy get a hold of him tell him that I sent you because he you know he's a furniture builder he builds stuff for stuff but he'll do things for friends and if you tell him that Michael Skews or Michael D or whatever the guy you saw him on YouTube with your guitar blah 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 he'll cut you a deal Big time. If you've already got a guitar, it'll only be about three or four hundred bucks. If you already have it, I'm not even going to tell you. I got this. Well, I will. He gave me. He got this with the case, completely finished. Everything exact replica, except you know he sent me the bridge, the Gibraltar, and, and the tailpiece there in the other room. And I said, you know, I've got a Super 70. Don't worry about it. And so I said, you know, throw in the DP100. It's brand new. Everything's new. This is a new guitar. New, 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 new. See? There's not any scratches or... This isn't a beat-up relic. This is like a brand new if you bought it off the shelf. So, okay, that's, that's the deal. Now, this EVH gear, I don't know if they don't... You know, because I don't play Van Halen songs exclusively... They had this other guy that has every single Van Halen guitar in the world, but he can't play. But he's got every single one he's replicated or whatever, and he, or he's bought the EVH. I'm like, who cares? I, I guess it's nice. You know, it's a hobby. I have hobbies. Playing guitars and fast cars and girls, right? Or the girls playing guitars and fast, something like that. Anyways, this is my playable bitchin' ass shark. So this is, I'm coming from the point of view as this is like a one you could buy. And the turnbuckles are gone because that is like, that's what ruined the guitar. That's what made it sound bad. And all the electronics work on it. So of course now this one sounds incredible. Right? Right. Thank <laughs> you. 